Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're talking about the best Windows 11 version for low-end PCs or computers that don't have high-end components. And in this video, we're talking about Tiny11, which is a Windows 11 version modified by NT Dev. You're going to have his links in the pinned comment below. And from there, you're also going to be able to get Tiny11. So a huge shout out to him because he does a great job with this lightweight Windows 11 version. In this video, we're going to talk about a bit the installation process, what you can expect from it, and of course, what is changed compared to the normal Windows 11 version that you can get from Microsoft. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. As I've said, if you want to get Tiny11, you're just going to have to check out NT Dev from the pinned comment below and you're going to see more info about that on his YouTube channel or on his Twitter. First of all, let's talk about the installation process. Well, Tiny11 is based off of Windows 11 23H2, the latest version, and the installation process is very, very simple basically you just need to do the first steps creating partition of course installing it and then in ob in the new windows 11 installation process section you're only going to have to select the language the keyboard layout give your computer a name a password and select whether you want windows to have access to your location diagnostic data and more basically that's all there is as tiny 11 removes all ads and other things from the windows 11 installation process and of course because it has all these things removed also the iso is way way smaller smaller, it has around 3 gigabytes, which is basically almost half the size of a normal ISO from Microsoft. Also, of course, you're going to log into your Windows operating system using a local account, and you're going to notice that this is based off of version 23H2. As I've said, we're just going to go into the settings app to check that out. And as you can see, we're on Windows 11 Pro version 23H2. Compared to previous versions of Tiny11, on this one, you can also do Windows updates, and you're going to be able to install cumulative updates, security patches, and I think that is a very very, very nice fix that was applied by NT Dev because if there are any issues, you can repair them by installing official patches from Microsoft. And of course, you can automatically get driver updates and so on. This Windows 11 version, of course, is very resource friendly as it has a lot of the Microsoft services removed, services that, of course, were not really useful. First of all, apps from Windows 11, such as the Get Help, Feedback Hub, ClipChamp, and more, were removed. But of course, they can always be installed if you want through the Microsoft Store in Windows 11, and you can do that all also with Microsoft Edge because you'll notice that this version doesn't have Microsoft Edge pre-installed and with Microsoft Edge of course you can go even further to enable Copilot AI and so on in this lightweight version of Windows 11. As I've said certain functionalities and services from Windows that were not really useful were removed and this is how this version of Windows is way smaller and it uses way less resources inside the operating system. Of course this can be used on a low-end computer or even on a gaming computer if you want to get the most out of it you can use this lightweight version which won't interfere with anything because you won't have ads, you won't have any things that could alter with your gaming experience. Even if you open the start menu, you're going to notice that there's barely any app installed. In Windows, we only have the settings and file explorer pinned in the start menu. I've used Tiny11 before, I've even installed it on computers, laptops, and I'm sure that it's a great alternative for those of you who want a lightweight version of Windows 11 or a version of Windows that is good for low end computers. You can also create your own Tiny11 personalized image. Using Using a guide that NT Dev created a while ago, so you're going to be able to find that on his blog because that's pretty useful in my opinion. But as a conclusion, Tiny11 is a great alternative for Windows 11, a lightweight and resource friendly alternative. As I've said, make sure to check out NT Dev from the links in the pinned comment below. So this was Tiny11. If you enjoyed this video, let me know below in the comments what you think about this version of Windows and if you've tried it before or you plan to try it after watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.